Just so y'all get familiar with Rob Stone, if you're not, this is Chill Bill Rob Stone. Ham radio, y'all. All right. Uh, technical difficulties. Uh, we're grabbing the cord, and then we're going to do what we said. This is... Here, guys. We'll just recreate it. <laughs> hey, what the... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm the Wait, Rob Stone. Stone. Did that? Did you? Did they just send you that beat and you heard that? You're like, oh, I fuck with that. Or was that like, uh, yo, we should flip this? Like, kind of uh, situation. Jay, uh, Jay Davis, I found the oh, beat. Oh, hey, dope. Yeah, yo, respect. that's a great look. Oh, yeah, man, so that you. that beat though, what? Um, how did that? How do you? How did you guys link up? But first uh, we of all, are, we grew up together, man. Yeah, yeah. Nice and like, really, man. Oh, okay, dope. Kids. In San Diego? Yeah. What part of San Diego? Lemon Grove, Lemon Grove California. Lemon. Okay. Uh, was, that was another question. Y'all fucking love it. The lemon emoji, very tough. I mean, yeah, that's, this shit's real. This, yeah. shit, this shit ain't no fucking game. No, no, that shit looked hella painful. Was that because you're thinking about getting a neck tattoo and you're scared of it, it hurting painful? too much? Uh, the color was painful. The, full, the outline was, didn't hurt. Did you do it okay, all in one all session? Up, yeah. But the color okay. hurts the most because the it's after the last thing they do. No, yeah, yeah, I, I'm that's different. Right. For me, I have like hella tattoos all over, right. but the outline yeah, for me always hurts. I hate outlines. The coloring's not bad to like the last 30 minutes. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, like, yeah, like last hour was all the tattoo artists I know they go, man, everybody complains that the white ink hurts the most, but it's because white ink is the thing they put on last. So it's yeah. like the last thing right. that touches you, the thing that hurts. Yeah. 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 This big ass chest tattoo takes up my whole shit and that shit was mad painful. Oh, no. And, and I was Adam mad just scared. Shows his nipples. <laughs> the way he pulled that down, bro, it was very, it's like, it was it's very like it's sensual. Big. Like, yeah. It's big, it's big, but I like really want to get my neck tattooed. And it's like fuck it. You gotta, yeah, you gotta just say fuck it and just. It was definitely a fuck it for me. Cause look, I did, cause I did this, and this shit didn't feel like anything at all. Oh, dude, behind my ear, fucking hurt. Cause really? I got to leave. It goes up behind my ear. That See, shit everyone's hurt. different oh, then. Dude. Cause like my chest was unbearable. I didn't get tattooed for a year after it. But like people <laughs> say, your hands are painful. My hands didn't hurt. My at fingers all. didn't mm-hmm. feel good. They say this shit hurts. This shit didn't hurt at all yeah. either. I We're going I, with the boys with the face tab, you know. Oh yeah, you know, face face oh, you got face that. Okay. Don't hurt. You, know, you got man. you got it on the cheek. The face right. that hurt. There. No pain. Yeah. Did it feel like the like the needle the was in your hurt. eyeball? The outline. The outline. The outline. On the orbital. Like, like, damn. I said I get color. I gotta get the yellow and the green for the lemon because people do think it's an acorn. You got you got to do YouTube where you're like it's an acorn. Instead of the, it's a knife. Really so funny. you guys grew up together. A How? <laughs> it's a lemon. It's a lemon. It's a lemon. How long have you guys been working together then, uh, as a conglomerate? Actually, like two years, right two and a half years. I made Jay Davis miss football practice one day to go fucking sip some lean at my house and make some music. <laughs> <laughs> I had like a little in-house studio and shit, you feel me? So yeah. like, we just set that shit up, made him come, and he had to walk all the way back to school because his mom didn't know, you know what I mean? So <laughs> that, that, that's how that started. And fucking, uh, when we graduated and shit, Jalen, uh, Rob Stone, I went to, um, to Atlanta and fucking started making music on his own out there. So that's how that started and shit, so. What made you end up in Atlanta? Uh, I went to try college, but that shit was whack. Okay. How yeah. long were you in college for? Uh, I tried college. Well, like a total, like a three semesters. Oh, maybe. three semesters. Okay. Yeah, That's but like, it was like, well, not three full semesters. Though. Yeah. Like, I think I did one full semester in the second, Took some time off. second semester. It was like a couple weeks in, dropped out. Yeah. Then the third semester was probably like a week. I literally same shit. <laughs> you yeah, same shit for me. I oh, probably done. I probably done section? three semesters total. Yeah. But that's like I'm 35 years old, and that's like in 15 years. <laughs> that I did. Yeah, man, that's just like I couldn't do the college thing. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I feel you, bro. Uh, so you, in between those times, you were still just chilling at Atlanta, like working on music and shit. Yeah, or, like, I had moved out to Atlanta right after high school, so I was just working. I worked at some like a. Like an indoor fun zone for kids. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> Over there, and then like I was the ball, had a ball pit. Yeah, all that type of <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Were you working with anybody in particular in Atlanta? Uh, musically? Yeah. Nah, it was literally just my beginning. I would go by myself, Boy. or me and just my homie. That uh, he went to Morehouse. Okay. So we would just go like late at night after I get off work, and that's just how that started, man. That's crazy. Um, so back to this chill build thing. So how did you find? Did you just like what? what where did the idea come from? Was it from Kill Bill or American well, Horror Story? It's from Kill Bill. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, everybody thinks it's American Horror Story, right. but it's not yeah. American Horror Story. It's right. Kill Bill. You know, we with the with the authentic shit and all right. that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah man. 
But we were just looking for beats and shit. Like, cause like we was like, let's just come up with a dope ass song. Like, you feel me? Like, we were just looking for some beats. Yeah. And then we came, I came across that beat. I was like, this shit slap. Let's didn't RZA it. do the soundtrack for Kill Bill? Uh, or am I full of shit on I don't that? Even know. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did. Yeah, the yeah. score, I think. The score he definitely. So I wonder because yeah. they worked. I think they worked on a movie afterwards, but he, they definitely he did the score. Right, right. Have, well, it, so I'm curious about the trajectory of this song because you guys made it like two years ago, right? It's been sitting out for yeah, a while. Yeah. This shit got was, 16 million views. Yeah, That's insane. Well, first, like eight of them are in the last first. two weeks or almost or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah, right. it's, been, so, like, it's they, been like one point something or but, two million a week. But they did, oh, wow. but they had crazy That's fan wild. bases right. back then because they uh, all the fans used to tweet me lemons. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I used to be like, I used to be like, yo, tweet Adam lemons, tweet Adam lemons. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. Well, got my attention. So, what did you move back to San Diego two years ago then, or what? Yeah, I moved back. Uh, I was only in Atlanta for like seven and months. And you guys made it right when you got back? Yeah. yeah like, like, much. And so, what happens when you put it out? Does it come out to some fanfare, or does it just kind of sit low key well, on the It was like, it was my first song that I put out. Ever. Ever. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Damn, this was your first yeah. song? Yeah. That's, that's insane. Like, that's they really had good songs out. right there. And now they, they had got like 16 one mil. or two. He had a few and he had like two. But it was big yeah. on SoundCloud though already, right? Yeah. yeah. So like yeah, what's blew, your what's like. your first thought when you like you see like the first song you make is fucking like just well, super popping. It's been, pop a, it's been like, a slow oh, burn. Fucking, I don't know, man. You just has, I don't it, know, hit, like, has <laughs> it hit in? I don't know. I just like I yeah, feel like, like it's it like, just like uh, well, I mean, I had like ten million plays on it before. Yeah, like, right. it even reached any blogs or anything. Yeah. So like, it was pretty much like. I don't know, like I knew I was lit, but yeah. it was just like, like when is everybody else gonna know? Yeah. Who were the fans that were lashing onto it? Was it the fans of like kind of the modern underground shit? Yeah, the That's underground, like, man, like Denzel, the Denzel Curry type fans, shit yeah, like that. Yeah, right? like the Sesh fans, yeah, like Sesh the underground, fans. like in general, just right. like, you know, they grasped onto it. Yeah, because definitely Hamley kids, like Amanda. Yeah, white Amanda, like yeah, she, that's they, the homie, like man. she, she was on it. So there's definitely like Hanley kids. Right, right. So it's like the same fan base for right. sure. Yeah, well, man. growing up in San Diego, San Diego is such a tough rap market. There's like not a lot of shows that make it down to San Diego. Exactly, what was it like yeah. growing up there? Uh, it was like it was always fans. for the most part like mainstream shows. Yeah, like, right. Coming down, uh, but like I don't know when we started, we just started like during the warehouse thing, like uh. And uh, we just kind of took over from there. Like people were doing this somewhere in San Diego, but when we came, it was just like. It was like uh, a whole we came sweep, with some like brand new shit. Like Dago had never yeah. did no shit like that before. Yeah, everybody right. in San Diego is pretty much like. I, mean, I don't know that many rappers from San. I know like yeah. King Choosy, makeshift King Choosy. Yeah, you yeah. Know him? Jail yeah. Felony. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah see, it's like it's either gangster <laughs> rap or like. Yeah, a real but you know, but you know, I heard that as far as like gangster rappers, a lot of them have a hard times doing shows in San Diego because it's so. What's up? Yeah. It's so yeah. and it's gang related. I like it YG is. can't do yeah. shows down there. Yeah, because yeah. Crips will come in the front row. Right, and like shout out to Samoan Bloods. You know? <laughs> yeah, hey, San Diego definitely a gang banging city. Yeah, yeah. Like which is crazy because you wouldn't like think about that. Well, but that's where prayers. That's so where prayers is from like, too. Right? It's all. It's also crazy because like, I think of Blink One Eighty Two. It's kind of a, it's it's <laughs> it's, low, right. it's low key a pretty like segregated city too though because there's a lot of rich white folks too and like the downtown is mad fucking clean dude so they don't want like they don't want rap shows in the downtown. Yeah. The downtown's like a, a Lego city. It's so cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's wild. So like, once you hit the southeast though, it's hella diverse. Right. Yeah. You got to keep like. Going it's like, like inland, yeah. Inside, <laughs> by the beach and up north is lovely. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. That's the touristy area. Are you? The, you're back in uh, San Diego right now, or yeah, I live in San Diego. So tight. Um, I um, I never really been to San Diego till we just went this year for Comic Con. I, I used to I date a girl been. in San Diego when I was in college, so I'd always be out there partying and shit. <laughs> I, I, t- uh, I took off from all the homies downtown in San Diego to go to Lose Records by myself. Y'all know, y'all know Lose, Lose Records. I'm not. I'm not familiar. With it. Yeah, I think it's like an ocean. It was far. It's like a big, as far as Uber ride was expensive. Oh, yeah. well, so, so did you guys after you put out the song? Did you put out a tape with it? Yeah, I put it on my first tape. It's called Straight Bumming. And did people in San Diego catch on to it quick? Like, did you start yeah. playing shows at UCSD or? Nah, man. I mean, we still haven't performed at the colleges yet. Really? It was all warehouse, and then we did the World Beat Center right. with uh, Wolf and Eddie Baker. Oh, okay, and oh, that dope. sold out. And then uh, what do we do after that? Soma, right? Uh, yeah, oh, we sorry. Saw, we, we, Camp yeah, we did yeah. Uh, Camp Lemon Lake 2, which was a warehouse show, and then we did Soma. That one, that that one we tried, Camp Lemon Lake 2, we, we yeah. tried to bring out Mitchie, but fucking it got too hectic. And oh, like, Mitchie Slick? Like, about yeah. to pull up and shit, so... So there's warehouses to do shows at in San Diego? Yeah, yeah bro. We made that shit pop. And like, I remember like the, the first actual group that was underground that like, came out to San Diego to do a show 
was um, Alpha Records, fathering them. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's when I realized, okay, like we're doing shit, like we're making yeah. shit popping. So like that's why I was like, okay. Where did they play in Sydney when they came? Uh, North Park Observatory. Yeah. Oh, North Park. Is it hard to find spaces out there? Yeah, bro. Like it's like you really gotta. They're all sketchy, bro. They're all yeah, like you really right. gotta go front to the front, like down. Like there's a street called Main Street in Logan. Yeah, that's what the area is called, the city. Real grimy, bro. So you know, what I mean, you just gotta go knock door to door and just be like, yo, like. I check out your space, kind of like how much is it? Like they'll try to finesse you or whatever. Yeah, but that's kind of the same we shit. We usually down get here. it for like two hundred dollars a night. You know what I mean? So two hundred a night. I mean, the funny Damn, thing is, right. dude. Even we, our even we, our generation of we underground. Two thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> even like, even, our, even <laughs> our generation of underground used to have a hard time like throwing shows in yeah. San Diego and getting people. But well, that's show like all up, underground you know? culture in general. Like right. punk shows. It was like growing up. It was like you would do it at fucking like gyms and Martial like art studios. Yeah, right, 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 right. Like backyards. Uh, I wanted to ask you, I saw you tweet something about, uh, your mom, your mom was hustling you uh, for something. And then you're like, wow, it's, it's cool. She used to give me twenties. You I know, like, you know, it's like, crazy. <laughs> right before I left, I left home uh, to come here. Yeah. She walked up to me and she was like, so I went to the mall and I, I bought three pairs of shoes and I need you to pay for them. And were you just like, mom, fuck. Yeah. I was like, damn. I was like, you stay hustling me. I was like, I just gave you a hundred dollars. Like, you, like, you hustling yeah. me. And she was like, so it's okay. It's She's okay. like, I see you got six. 60 million views. She was like, you spend thousands on weed every month. These three pairs of shoes is, is nothing. <laughs> you know what I mean? The little guilt trip. Yeah. Uh, I've done everything for you. Damn. That's my mom, my mom played me today. It was funny, yeah. it was funny though. It was funny. Yeah. Okay. Have you gotten a lot of like, uh, you know, since you've been like, uh, you know, popping off more, like more like weirdos coming out the back, like trying to, f not, uh, like just in general, like yeah, people coming. Yeah, leeches, man. Yeah. Hella leeches. Is there, uh, <laughs> like how do you determine like who, like who's genuine you know what i mean cuz i feel like everybody's just like always trying to ride somebody else like yeah. and he's like uh, I don't know. I just don't really fuck with nobody. With yeah. yeah, just don't See, fuck with no one else. That's, that's, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, no, just like, keep your circle small. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. The phone line's been blowing up this whole time. Let's take a couple callers really quick. Yeah, you, sure. you know what? Let's not take a phone call. Yo, the, a, you know? I want to know about how, um, so you're on this ASAP Ferg Cardi tour. Yeah, man. That's big. That's that shit going to be fucking wild. I saw what the fuck just happened at Ham. Uh, oh, yeah. With, with Rocky, with Rocky showing up. Rocky, Rocky, he straight up jumped in the fire. I didn't even know he jumped in the audience. That was crazy. Yeah, you know, to get Cardi on that show because they're tours coming up the agent was like was like we can't put him on the show and announce it like he has this tour they're gonna get mad and i was like look <laughs> he doesn't have to promote it at all i'll just promote it myself he don't got to tweet about it he doesn't have to retweet we have that shit going up that shit was great and it's yeah. funny because i thought about asking to get you on that show um, and then i realized that'd be weird if i have like half of the tour right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> on right. this show. yeah we gotta get us on him though, oh man. it's happening we for sure when shit. does the tour start uh october 30th first date i believe oh halloween yeah. oh weekend crazy. yeah it's gonna be crazy you love halloween you i think it starts off with the the freaky deaky festival what's the freaky uh, deaky festival isn't it chicago right damn what's that yeah it's in chicago um, I'm not sure. I've never been. It sounds, it sounds fucking deep. tight, though. It sounds. It show up. It's like an S and M, like just <laughs> people whipping each other. <laughs> For like, this is what you want. <laughs> How that um, how that tour come about? How'd you link with them? Did they just hit you up or? Oh uh, man, because like me and Ferg both on RCA and then, oh, okay, uh, yeah, yeah, man, that's so, a, okay. I'm I'm glad that you brought that up. I didn't know if you were allowed to talk about being signed, but you're signed to RCA, right? Yeah, man, hell okay, yeah, okay. talk about this. So, <laughs> <laughs> a, lot, a, lot of artists, a lot of artists try to hide it when they go, when they get on a label or whatever. They are like not not allowed to talk about the business or whatever. So man, fuck that. Nigga. When, when did you get up, put man. on? RCA? <laughs> <laughs> what was the problem? Like, how long ago did RCA find out about you? Uh, probably like February. I in say. February, yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, like, I know I, I noticed the video has been sitting on YouTube, like I said, for like a while, probably yeah. really sitting like around a million views. There's nothing to scoff yeah. at. But then all of a sudden, was it the World Star video? That it was the 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 flaming basketball shot. Oh, that's what it that was. There was, was a viral Vine where yeah. a dude hit a flaming basketball shot, and then his song drops, and that exploded. Vine? And that's, yeah. Vine's like the key. And that's when it caught. That's when it caught again, right? Yeah. Huh, yeah okay. Man. And so and is then, that when they noticed you? Nah, I had already. You had already signed. I, I signed on 420. This okay, so when that goes viral is rca like oh fuck yeah, we're sitting were, on gold we gotta yeah, like do they were something fucking with this. hype they were yeah. hype about that shit and then like so that gave me a wave and then uh we ended up beating up some fucking weirdos yeah at the beach. so that we were just watching that <laughs> oh yeah what, what was the fucking was the deal with that about? uh so this fool just uh he came up to us like he followed us like all the way from the water like the boardwalk by the beach and uh -huh. then at san diego what, what was going. like but why was he following you 
Uh, just a hater ass, like just a hater. So he knew who you were. Was it? Or yeah, he knew who oh. was. Was it hip hop beef? Nah, he oh. just it was. He was trying to test my street cred. Right? Uh, so like, he was just like yeah, some drunk ass. Yeah, like, it was like you want to put on for my city. You got to throw hands. Uh, oh, like, wow. Yeah, like I wish you guys like the video would have showed all of that because oh, that was literally the the ending. Um, yeah, that was the ending. It was like at forty-five minutes of yeah. harassment. So or yeah, what led up to it exactly? What happened? What uh, happened? Well, all right. So we are uh, like we go to the beach and then like we see them on the boardwalk, but they don't say anything. So then they follow us uh, for a while, like into like the amusement park. And then so we have our cameraman like about to film us all getting on the roller coaster, but then he comes up and he's like, "Yo, like these dudes been following us, like like just he's like, he's like, scared, like, shit, just you know, he was like he was like nervous." So I was like, "Nah, I'm gonna stay off with you because I didn't want them to take all of our shit." You know what I mean? So uh. and then everybody else going to ride as soon as the uh, the fucking ride take off and go, all of them run up trying to jump me and shit. Oh, wow. And that's where the video starts, like uh, me like, "Yo, like who the fuck are you?" Like you know yeah. what I mean? And he's pressing me, and that's when it starts. And then when it cuts, like the security had already ran up and kicked them out. And uh, we were in for like 20 more minutes. Then when it cut back to us linking up, we were walking to our Uber. That's why at the end, our Uber is fucking oh, there. Right? Know. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah so we walked walking to our Uber and then the fool, he just runs up, starts talking all that shit. And then y'all see how it went. Yeah, <laughs> he was out cold. That was like, he took that, that, that real well, I remember quick. seeing that on World Star World like about a month and a half ago or something. Oh, how long ago? Yeah, that was in July. In yeah. July. You yeah. know what I love about that video is that like, I love fight videos where it's like, cause you're, you even in the video, you're like, yo, I ain't trying to fucking fight. Like, yeah, this is stupid. Yo, like, like, this is also some petty shit. And then, like, also, yeah. And then, so what's so great is it's like, you're saying like, yo, I don't even want to fucking fight you. And then he's like harassing. And then he's the one who gets fucking just laid. Right. Laid. I feel like he got the like that ball. Really the yeah. loudest yeah. bark. You can't really see the hit that hard. It looks like he didn't well, he got I was hit with going. two. He got hit with two. We oh. watched it in slow motion. The homie came Damn, to Damn, two <laughs> <people's feet laughs> Damn. Damn. That's, that's, I paused. Dude, that's crazy because I was looking at the homie B-Trip. Shout out to B-Trip. That's my Float like a motherfucker. Hey, what I will say, I will say about Michael that video, that though, as crazy. compared to other World Star fight videos, great cinematography. <laughs> <laughs> that was with the comment. Great the cinematography. The com the com I read a comments like, damn, this is like a college uh, film thesis. Dude, not, I was like, like not, damn. <laughs> most fight videos, people yeah. forget to even turn their for phones sideways. Well, this one was just like, were you, were you guys shooting like content for like a video or yeah, something? And it just had, bro, we literally just went to go to the beach. We literally just went to go fucking ride the ride that's yeah. crazy at the beach. so oh, fuck that fool. He, yeah, he i noticed in the video he's saying like fuck 1207 and then i see the 1207 tattoo on the face <laughs> what it was what's 1207 uh, that's all right it means lemon grove because yeah. oh okay that's L like that's the 12th letter okay 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 g is a seven so okay okay yeah. okay you know, it's like home you know what i mean he, right he yeah. so where's that fool from uh we don't know so man uh, yeah Vista. Oh yeah, Chula Vista. Vista. Oh, Linda Vista. He's Linda from, Vista. There's a lot of vistas out there. There's so a, lot a lot of vistas. Of vistas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a suburb. Yo, that was fucking great. That whole yeah. episode. Yeah. Yeah. So right. Suburbs. <laughs> Okay, so then after those two things happened, the Vine video with the flaming basketball and the fucking fight video, and both of those are going yeah. ape shit on the internet, is that when they're like, okay, we got to do something with this, and then the remix happens, or what? Yeah. What was the remix in the, the works The remix was somewhere in the works, uh, but like after, like it was just like viral shit just kept happening. Yeah. Like, and then Kylie posted it, then posted on her Snapchat. Oh, the Kylie very did? Next, Yo, she's like the best A&R oh, wow. right now. Yo, and she's ahead of shit. You know that she was- Who else is she? she was, no, she was even on Spooky Black before the standard yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I remember mm. that shit. Yeah, yeah, she on shit. All she that, posted that, that. M&A video. You guys seen yeah, that? Shout out to Kylie. Yeah, shout out to Kylie and Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got a show here, right? Who got a show here? Yeah. Who? Kylie? We saw Kylie here, fool. We didn't see her. She left right I, before. No, we <laughs> both saw her. Hold like, on. Wait, it's like no. we had a conversation. Hey, hey, hey. Did we not see her? Yeah, right there. Right, in the photo whatever. booth, and then she walked down. I don't know what you were doing, dog. <laughs> Damn. Were you late I that was day? probably late like always. Yeah, well, we saw her for show. Yeah. Well, you know, that's fine. Adam tied her do-rag for her. I did. Oh, she shit. wears a do-rag? And I touched the booty. Dude, I saw Wait, There's are you serious? Picture, or there's like a viral picture of her Is wearing a do-rag. Is she wearing it as a very joke? Or... About it. No, Why she's just a culture vulture, she wearing... <laughs> She's a... <laughs> she's a... That's a, crazy. She's an appropriator. She wearing a do-rag just yeah. for fun? Yeah, like... Yeah. That's why she connected to the spooky yeah, black. It's all good. She looked bragging. <laughs> Damn. You know what? Shouts out. Shouts out her for doing her. You know? 
sometimes. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Nelly Jenner. Uh, so you got a Nelly Jenner? I don't. I didn't even get the reference. Hold I don't on. even know why y'all was wearing white do rag. No, no, it's a hard do rag. I get it. Now I get it. Now yeah. I get it. So the remix on the remix, it's it's um, drum, drum, Denzel, 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 Denzel cousin Steve. How, how did that? How did that happen? Like, uh, did, well, did you handpick who you wanted on the remix, or how uh, did that? I RCA. picked Denzel for sure. Of course. Sure. Um, but Drum, uh, Tunji, uh, I had met Drum out in LA. We were doing like radio promo. And it was cool. And Tunji wanted to get Drum on the remix. And uh, Stiz, uh, I was already a fan of Stiz. And Tunji was like, yo, yeah, she gets Stiz, Stiz on it dope. too. You know what I mean? And, He's so dope. Yeah. And then I uh, have been going to the studio with Denzel. And like, we sorry to be homies now. So that's tight. Like, Den- Denzel's one of my favorite people to see live. Dude, he's, he's like, he has, he has, he has crazy he energy. He's like yeah. one of the best performers. Absolutely. Crazy energy, that's bro. Really like, a yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 bars, yeah. styles too, rapping ass nigga. And energy. They almost broke the fucking stage when we did that one show. Remember, it was just like uh, oh, he, yeah. uh that one spot behind Lasita. I don't know. I just remember yeah, we we haven't played so many times. We we uh, had him out when he was still like a kid and ha- he had a come oh, yeah. with his dad. <laughs> oh, he was like seventeen, damn. right? Yeah. Yeah. Seventeen. Yeah, yeah. With his dad. Yeah, yeah I, I've been I, following I'm, Denzel for a long time. Such dude. a good rapper. A long time. And he keeps getting better and better, dude. He's so fucking yeah, dope. Yeah, it's crazy. Goddamn. Um, you got a new project out, though, right? It just dropped a yeah, couple man. days ago? Yeah, What's it? it's called I'm Almost Ready, man. How long did it take to uh, put that together? Uh, maybe like three or four months. Yeah. yeah. That's that's pretty fat, a fast turnaround, right? I feel yeah, like. Or is it? Was, it? Uh, yeah, it was like, I don't know, man. It was just like. I was just working, working, yeah. working, working. Like, I don't know, like, and all this shit, like, was just starting to pop off at the same time. So, you know, I'm just, every time I go to the studio, it's just, like, uh, good-ass energy. Like, yeah. I'm just like, yo, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Is it hard to concentrate on making music and then not, trying not to focus on, like, the success of, like, shit that's pop? You know what I mean? You, like, get caught up on just, like... Nah, I can't ever get lost in the sauce, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. too much sauce. Wise, wise words. Shouts out Gucci. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, it's like I don't know, man. I, the music is, is and I just want like it's just pretty natural, you know what I mean? Well, yeah. how has it changed since making music just at the crib to now? It's like there's uh, label expectations. Do you feel those footsteps of uh, like, oh, I gotta make something else pop? Nah, I just do my just shit. Do your thing. I just do my shit, and they, they fuck with it. People's being supportive. At yeah, the, the label. label fuck with me. Like the good. label fucking loves me. Like good, good. For real, man. Nice. Like shout out to RCA. Like they fuck with me. Are you gonna up. stay in SD for a while? Are you moving up here? Uh, I want to stay in San Diego just because I can't stand this fucking traffic here. Right. But uh, <laughs> you know, people, yeah, people who complain about LA traffic though, it's only because you haven't lived here. Because you you learn to like a, a particularly uh, as a musician or an artist, you can you don't ever have to be in traffic. Because you can just leave in the middle of the day. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do nine to five. And people know? talk about traffic. I never hit traffic because I don't leave my house till like noon ever. I just know? don't leave I downtown LA. Time, I don't leave you downtown. You have a job. Yeah, you have a job. See, I don't leave downtown I don't have a job. LA. Yeah. Also, I don't have a job. I don't, I don't have a job. I, also, I, don't have a job. <laughs> I also don't have a car, so I guess that's why another reason I'm in traffic. Yeah, if I moved here, I have to live like. Just right in the mix. Get so a yeah, crib yeah. by the studio, you'll be fine. Walk yeah, there, you know what I mean? Walking distance. Yeah, there you go. Make sure there's a nice coffee shop, you know? Yeah, tea. Man. I don't know if you fuck with tea or coffee, but how many coffee? How long is this tour? The what's it called uh, again? The Turn and Burnt tour. The Turn and Burnt tour. How yeah. long is it? How many cities has uh, done? It's like 20, 22 cities. I want to say, man. Fuck. Is this your is this first, your first big, tour? Big tour. Yeah, man. I never uh, been on tour before. So this shit. Oh be man, wild. That's bring a lot of socks. Are you, are you, guys, are you guys going on a bus? Bring, or bring, or bring a lot of socks. I don't even know. I don't even know how we either gonna do. Uh, we're definitely not gonna be no fucking bus. Right. But. Yeah. If unless we could finesse a motor home or something. Yeah. But probably like the 15 passenger or a Sprinter. Yeah. Hopefully Sprinter though. But it's going to be rough. That's for, tight, dude. That's fun. Yeah, that's going to be a fun tour. You, yeah, she's going to be crazy. Have you chopped it up much with uh, Cardi or Ferg? I haven't talked to Cardi, but I talked to Ferg and Ferg was hella stoked to have me out and shit. So yeah. It's going to be dope, man. You opened for Cardi, didn't you, like a year ago? Like New York or something? No, no, no. Uh, did Cardi? No, he didn't come out to San Diego. No, I haven't opened for Cardi before then. That's you tight though, man. Yeah, Cardi. I'm I fuck with Cardi. Cardi's is a. Uh, it's gonna be. It's we gonna be we played this. Fun. Um, what show was it? That Cardi came out. Was it Little B or was it um Young Thug? Uh, the Young Thug. We DJ you? we DJ a Young Thug show in the Orange <laughs> County or no? It was in L. A. And um, ASAP Rocky was there, oh, and shit. before Cardi went I feel on, like we should have been. Be, that fuck it. Before Cardi went on, 
ASAP took him to the side of the stage, like to the to the cut. He had like a fucking pep talk with him and shit. <laughs> it was he definitely little bro to him. He was just like on the side and just like he's like, it was so make weird. sure the energy's up, make sure your bars so are straight, weird. like look at the <laughs> crowd. <laughs> it just looked like yeah, straight. no, it's just like it, it, I mean, you couldn't hear what he was saying, but he definitely he was like, like look, man, there's vomit on your shirt already. <laughs> it's <laughs> monster. <laughs> <right. laughs> It was pretty weird. I think Cardi was literally just like, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> just like, and then like walked off and just killed yeah, it. Cardi it was just like, like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think Rocky taking it a little more just do his shit. Yeah. yeah. Cardi just be out here. Oh, yeah, Ferg was there too. He's stocky. He's a stocky Oh, dude. it was a Ferg show. It wasn't a Young Thug show. Was it a Ferg show? No, it wasn't a Ferg show. Ferg was all just right. there. All right. Because I remember going, hey, is that Ferg? And I, I was like, oh, it is Ferg. And he was like, but hey, it's, it's me. Like, it's like me. You don't know who the fuck and I am. he gave you a pep talk. I was like, I gave Ferg a pep talk. I was like, Wait, what? Yeah, I was in that video where Cardi's fighting in the crowd with his he's, fans. No, he's no. fighting yeah. with, yeah. with his video, fans? Bro. Wait, he, what happened? Tell me he, about he's this just video. He's performing, bro, and he starts going in the crowd and just swinging on his that's fans. <laughs> what? Yeah. Just that's randomly? Hey, just randomly, that's that, bro. That Ron Artest shit. With his fans, like, yeah, that's, G, that's some Gigi yeah, Allen yeah, shit. Yo, he low key got hands. He's that with that video with, uh, what's that? Yeah, he did have hands. Ass pizza or the pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got hands. Yeah, he fucking. Wait, he fought ass pizza? You know, no comment. No, his you homie. Didn't, you didn't oh. see. You didn't. No, he fought. Yeah, he fought yeah. his homie. Uh, oh. Gurren but he, or whatever. Isn't ass pizza like fourteen or some shit? No, no. no. Well, oh. in the video, I don't. This is how I took it. Okay. It was because it was um, Ian Connor, right? It was like Ian oh, yeah, Connor yeah, yeah. and Cardi, and then it was ass pizza, and then his homie, uh -huh. and then. Uh, I guess they were trying to fight. I guess a video got leaked eventually of Ian Connor getting fucked up initially. Oof. And then, um, so I think Cardi came in to like handle it for him. Uh, and then uh, he just fucking wrecked him. And it's crazy because we like, worked with Cardi like hella times already. And he's always like really mellow and chill. Yeah. So I was really surprised that he even fights. I was like, oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Cause he's like a real mellow, like, it's a small, he's like a stony small dude. Dudes are always the scrappy, really? like the scrappy, uh -huh. like, uh, I, was, I thought Cardi was like hella turnt, like, <laughs> like all the time. He looked like he just turned all the time. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, <laughs> isn't he like usually like, he seems like he, he really came to my house to pick up a deposit, and then he like came in my house like we we're he's like stony. Yeah, and he was just like, hey, what's up? And I was like, oh, cool. Let me go get your deposit. And then like we we're watching some weird movie, and we he made cookies like, together. And he knew he was like, oh, so he's like, I love this movie. And I was like, oh, cool. I was like, I was, did I? And then he got in his Mustang like, and drove off. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's like, what do you great. think? He, uh, he, she whispers in. Uh, what? Lost Adam made a bad joke. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> Lost in transition. What do you think she whispers? Okay, what do you think he whispers in her ear? I don't know, man. I don't know the movie. I'm shit. assuming he, something about lemons. You probably. haven't seen the movie. <laughs> 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 he said, "Baby, when you get a lemon, you paint that shit gold." That's an, okay. Okay. You should oh, probably no. stop with the jokes. All uh, right. So <laughs> what, <laughs> what, <laughs> what just happened? All right, Rob Stone. So what's next? Oh man, uh, twelve oh seven album, man. 12. What can we expect who's on the who's album? Who's gonna be on the the album? What's the, the what's the how many how people big are is in twelve oh seven? Click twelve oh seven is about ten niggas deep. Uh, yeah, it's, let's hear about the squad. Uh, it's Jay Spooks right here. What up, Spooks? Jay Davis. You know. What up, Davis? Uh, Malik Burgers out there. We got Adam twelve oh. Uh, his little homie lurking already. Good name. Uh, Dom the Cruz. Um, there's Keely. Ed Jones, Lil Skirt. Uh, yeah, yeah. Crew, yeah, it's a whole crew, but like we just all like a bunch of creative motherfuckers, man. But so is it going to be just like a posse cut album with just like, yeah. uh, is it is it going to be like everyone on one track or is it nah, just nah, kind of nah. snippets of like everybody's uh, like just separate? We'll, however we create, you know what I mean? We just yeah. going to go to the studio, lock in and whatever, whatever collabs come out. Uh, whatever solo tracks, like we yeah. don't put it together, but it's gonna be one hundred percent produced by twelve oh seven. Oh, that's man. tight. How does yeah. that work when you're like signed to a label? Like, do they trip on you putting out other music, or is it like are uh, they, they like just basically? It's just like don't do no weak ass features. Yeah. Like, that's right. Oh really? Yeah. Like, oh okay. Don't do no weak ass. It seems features. like labels are getting kind of hip to it when you have like sort of an independent sound. It's yeah. like let them go out and grow as yeah. an independent artist, and when they're ready for, to like be everywhere, then the label will be there for them. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's like this. Uh, it's basically they're behind me. Like they just want to help help grow yeah. everything. They don't. They haven't came at me like want to change shit. Like that's have you, dope. Have yeah. you been yeah. hearing the song on the radio? 
Yeah, man. How's that feel? That's crazy. It's fucking wild. Actually, today, uh, fucking, I heard a, a advertisement for me at Flex Nightclub. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, so that was that was wild. Yeah. yeah but it's just. I don't Are know they playing it in SD a lot too? Yeah, SD is yeah. fucking crazy for us. Yeah. How, it, well, so like I was saying earlier, SD not being a big like rap city, it, are people now catching on to it? Of like, oh shit, we have like a hometown hero. Dude, they, they love. I like, went in when I rented our fucking passenger van today to come here. Yeah. Though, the uh, fool that was in line already knew who I was, and then uh, was so tight. So like his mom knew my song too. His mom was in there, and then, oh shit, really? So then the mom work- sent him titty pics. <laughs> Can you believe it? Yo, were they firm? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, shit. oh but, yeah. So then the dudes wanted to give me a discount. All the shit. It's oh like, shit, it's oh, love that's and, tight. It's yeah, love it's day. Lit. It's we funny. Free, you, you know, you start balling shop. out, you get rich. All of a sudden, you gotta pay. You don't gotta pay for shit. No more. That's, that's what happens. You, the rich people don't pay for shit. They don't pay for, they don't pay for shit. shit. Rob Stone don't pay for fucking passenger vans. You don't have hey, to. discount. You should start talking in third Taco person. Let me tell you. Yeah. Like Rob, Rob Stone is here. Rob Stone. The, Rob Stone. Oh you know, Rob right Stone want to make music. Rob Stone makes. I start talking like that. They gonna fuck me up. <laughs> it's like that's the day I get checked. Oh, that's that's so like, me up, man. <laughs> Wait, so you guys all just caravaned up here today just for this? And the, or did you have other yeah, shit we, to do? Well, we stopped at the uh, the famous Deck show. Oh yeah, and, oh, uh, that? So there was a DJ from uh, from the San Diego, so he played Chill Bill. So we went oh, out shit. and just got on stage and like, got oh, nice. where was that at? And then we left. Observatory. Yeah. Oh, observatory. that was Santa Ana. Uh, yeah. Okay, where? It, it was Dex. Dex, um, Eddie, Eddie, and oh, yeah. um, F- uh, Fani, I think. Oh yeah, that's tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had Fani on our show uh, last night, Friday night. It was Friday. It looked like he got in a fight with a security guard on stage. What I happened? think it was one of his boys. Uh, uh, <laughs> fucking security dude they wilding out we literally spent 15 minutes clearing the fucking stage I don't know why everybody wants to stay on the stage so we spent 15 dude. minutes clearing it and then the fucking 30 seconds within I, the next well, song oh, it's because Brock, there's it's double a, the amount of people on fucking yeah. stage it's like how the fuck I'm happen? like yo Rock and Cardi about to be on stage I clear everyone off the stage tell security don't let nobody fucking up here when they're performing immediately What's wrong with these security yeah, guards? Man. That was crazy. That's like, oh, I hate that shit. Hey, when the headliner if gets on the stage, everybody is somebody all of a sudden. Yo, man, that's my cousin. But like, it doesn't even, oh like, it's, like, it Everything. sounds better in front also. You right. know what I mean? Like, why you want to be in well, the back of someone's they, all the yeah, it's like, they want to be on the stage. Hey, hey, hey that's how crazy dates. this is, though. So some kid uh, uh, tweets at, uh, at Hamlet Everything and All Def Digital and goes, yo, y'all, uh, like, y'all uh, owe me a check. And I said, what? And then he emails me and he's like, yeah, your security threw me down some stairs and you know danger and danger in my life, you know, and I and, you know and I and I and I paid I paid. You so know, I need a backyotomy all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, Back- no, 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 no. and I paid ten bucks times two, and, and I was there before ten p.m. Da, da, and you guys owe me a refund. And then I was like, and I was like, nah. First of all, it's not my security, bro. I don't fucking own the venue. They don't work. They don't work for me. And if you got there before t- ten, and if you got there before ten p.m., it wasn't ten bucks. You got in after ten p.m. for sure. And then he goes, uh, yeah. I could have had Rocky shut the whole shit down. What's that as if, like? as if he was like Rocky's homie. Like, why'd you pay to get in then? If yeah. you're Rocky's good homie, that could get him to shut the whole shit. I wrote back and said, LOL. And that's what I said. People be wilding on Twitter, man. Fucking idiots. People yeah. on Twitter. Twitter is a crazy world. Oh, man. <laughs> There's a fucked up world. Um, wait, do you, did you have the song? Can we play? I, want, I just want to hear right. it. Yeah, Can man, we play? Run that shit, run that shit, man. Chill Bill, y'all. Hammer Everything Radio. Best song on the radio. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You wanna go and yeah, I just said all my weed. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. is that weird yet? Yeah, Andy's up in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that shit's a hit, bro. Thank you. You got a line. So good. You got a line in there where you say uh, you used to sip a styrofoam cup, but now you stick to the dro. Yeah, man. Are you still? Is well, that? Is that? Well, I had got back <laughs> sipping lean, but then I stopped because it was having me fucked up. Yeah. I was constipated for like a week, dude. I mean, what? Fucked up, man. Wait, so what did you do to you got to take like uh, the pills and shit? Nah, or? you just kind of got to wait for it to pass. Oh damn. Yeah, don't do lean, bro. Does that, that, that <laughs> hey, you, was like the skin on. just crawling off and all that shit? All the withdrawals or what? Yeah, it was the real. That bad shit is damn near. I, I literally, yeah, I was just gonna say. I mean, it's an opiate, right? That shit yeah, was, it's, it's it was an horrible, opiate. man. Like I'm, yeah, I'm sticking. To we, the ha- we had we had a homie come in here once. I won't say his name now, but uh, he, I, maybe you'll. No, when I say, uh, anyways, he he did the whole interview he was so slumped out, bro. He was just like, yeah, it was, so bad. It was, yeah. And he had, he had a, he was eating a cookie. <laughs> I just oh, oh, yeah. 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 
<laughs> so we were asking all these questions. He was giving like one word mumble answers, and the whole time I was just looking well, at we like, worse, the crumb, huh? like the crumbs <laughs> on his lip. I just wanted to be like, bro, like, bro, 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 you wanted, like, you wanted, you wanted, you wanted to touch his lips, bro. like, bro. I wanted to wipe it off. Hey. It's like you know, it's <laughs> right now. It's full. Um, worse <laughs> than that, we've had people perform at Ham that are like off the lean, but also like really into oh, the yeah. Xanax. Yeah. And they're like such bad performers. The bar. Like uh, the one dude, I don't want to say his name. I try to have a conversation with him. Like mid conversation, he kept forgetting what the conversation was. And I was like, <laughs> oh dude, like God. you're fried your brain, dude. You fried your brain. Yeah, the Xanax, that's uh-huh. one thing I've never fucked with, man. I tried it. Uh, on my grad was, night, I did it on my grad night, and I don't wait. It. I wanted it. <laughs> 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 like, I want to hear their story. You know, we done indulge in the Xanax. Oh, 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 let me tell you something. All right, so grad night, me, me and Jalen, bro, me and Rob, we had we had grad night, bro. This motherfucker, I, I'm supposed to take a Xan with him for the first time. All right, so my homie got him. He got like a whole bunch of them. He had like eight, and then so we were on different buses though. So he pops his. And so I'm waiting to get that to Six Flags to pop mine. And so by the time we get there, he's like, he's straight, you know what I'm saying? But then we get on the rides. And the first ride, bro, I swear to God, this fool is asleep on the ride, bro. <laughs> this fool is slow. And then after that, we're walking, bro. And then he has his eyes closed like this, walking. And he runs into someone, bro, knocks their drink over. He's like, oh. Hey, you uh, you know that at, at one of the shows I was watching the door at the, the security guard found a whole bag of Zannies and, and I was shit. like, she's like, oh, how much do these go for? And I'm like, fuck, I don't know, you can get a lot of money, probably. <laughs> I'm like, let me get one because I never tried it before. I took you one took home one? on Sunday night. I took one, thinking like, oh, I'm just gonna chill. I'm, everybody talks about this shit. I'm just gonna see what's about. Know your girl I took a two ass. milligram one. I took a two milligram one. You're and like, my homie used to have a Xanax prescription. He'd be like, yeah. He's like, when I get anxiety, I just pop one and I'm cool. And I'm like, I get anxiety. Let's see what this is about. <laughs> Turns out he, he was taking half a milligram. So I took four times that. Oh, dog. shit. Fuck. I fucking took it at like seven o'clock. By nine o'clock, I slept off. until 11 the next Ow. day. Like straight past out. Ow. And then the Ow. next day. But did you wake up refreshed or was it like a hangover? No. The next no. day, I was a uh. fucking zombie, dog. I did not get <laughs> yeah. off my couch at all. I like felt dizzy. It was... Well, it was like pretty relaxing. Well, same but thing. I was, I was wow. never super into Xanax, but uh, for a while while I was drinking, there was like a girl I was fucking with that had it. So I go to the bar and I take Xanax with her and I would like spend all my fucking money on drinks. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't remember like, where my money went. No I, remember, like, I don't remember. Sh- it's crazy. Yeah, it's shit. a blackout Nothing. bomb. It's horrible. That yeah, can't man, be good yeah. for your brain. Yeah. Do not do nope. Xanax, man. <laughs> Stay off the do, not do not fucking, you know what I'm saying? Don't do it at all. See, for real. And that's, and see, you know, it's funny because us being a little older, like the rap music we listen to, we our came drugs up on, were different. It was weed and alcohol. Yeah, it was yeah. like weed in 40s. Like, and it was it was shitty weed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't like but, fucking but now, weed. I mean, now it's like, 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 like we were younger, younger, <laughs> when we were younger, even like pills like like ecstasy was popular, uh, but that was like for kids that were into raves. But and no shit one rapped about it. No one rapped about that shit. Yeah. Because, you know, we're like, in our 30s, so this is literally just about blunts and 40s, right? Right, <laughs> not so bad, right? Not yeah, like, <laughs> like a comparison, I'm thankful that like Drug opiates weren't right. that popular when we what were. What are they gonna be rapping about in 20 years, man? I'm scared, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> It's gonna loop around to this. Because it's definitely like it, it, like kids are impressionable. Because I was impressionable. I I would drink Sanai's forties just because yeah. I rapped about it, you know. So they're I rapping about Percocets. Yeah, I love drink forties because I rap, you know. And they're, they're rapping about Percocets <laughs> and Xanax. I mean, like, now look at kids; they're all eating booty. You know what I mean? Just because somebody went to song. Hey, I ain't no motherfucking yeah. booty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, but you remember no in the nineties? In the nineties, they used to act like eating pussy wasn't cool. Easy and all them act like oh for sure. But now it's great. It's back now. I it's, I back, it's great. It's back now. It's you back. Pussy. Ever since. We I, all got eating pussy now. <laughs> thanks to YG. I personally never bought into that. You always like to, you, always you don't like eat pussy, Lee? No, no. I'm, I'm oh, super down. I was going to say. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I mean, same, bro. I'm like, uh, we should eat pussy together sometimes. On the one night <laughs> stand, no doubt. Yo, you guys, like, should, eat other, you guys should eat each other's booty pussy. <laughs> Wait, what? Booty puss? T- yeah, your booty pussy. This, this, this guy eat your booty puss. Booty puss. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that, is that a real thing? A booty, a booty puss? Yeah. Is that a real word? Yeah, it's like a gay guy's pussy. It's booty. Oh, booty puss. Don't put that. Know. Just edit that out of the radio show. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> booty, booty puss. All right. We got, we got, <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Spice Girls. <laughs> Shout out 120 dollars shirts. It's lit. It's worth every cent. Um. All right, tell the people where they can find you online, you guys. Oh man, 
1207 worldwide.com uh young robstone.com for me uh my twitter twitter, at- twitter is at young robstone instagram young robstone snapchat is still baked you know what i'm saying <laughs> what, what are you, you guys in, uh you can find me at lemonlegenddavis.com j davis on instagram and uh j davis 1207 on twitter man yeah twitter <laughs> 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 Twitter, yeah. Twitter, yeah. Twitter. Yeah. Hey, you gotta practice that one. Go. <laughs> You're gonna get asked this a lot. <laughs> oh shit, that's hilarious. <laughs> At I am Jay Spooks, and then uh, Instagram, Jay Spooks. yeah, yeah, that's it, man. Instagram, Jay Spooks, all together, no underscores. Oh my no. god. Hey, thank y'all so much for coming through. Wait, hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Turnbert tour. Oh, ASAP yeah, man. Ferg, yeah, find him in your boy. Boy Cardi, ASAP Rob Ferg. Stone. When's the LA? Wait, yeah, when's I was just gonna say boy? when's the LA show? Uh I think it's November. I don't November twelfth. Actually, they have. All right, so we have the Santa Ana and November twelfth, the Off Future Carnival. But I'm not doing Off Future Carnival only for Oh, let's do a show. Oh, let's do. Let's do. Okay, really well. Word up. Hey, exactly. Yeah. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. It's happening. Um, for him, should we plug our shit real quick? Uh, yeah, you could uh, just follow us. No, I mean, like, what's happening this week? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. We got the MTV shit on Thursday. Well, on Wednesday, we're are DJ- we allowed to say who's playing? No. Oh. On Wednesday, we're DJing Little B Show. So oh, check that out. At Novo. Oh, check it out. Oh, so the, yeah. the Little B Show's Wednesday at Novo. The tickets are like 25 bucks plus fees. But I have a link it's for $10 tickets. And I'm going to do an email blast. Pam's Casino and Little I'll do an email blast. Hey, in hey, the, hey. I'll do an email blast in the morning about that. And then Thursday, we're like uh, audience curating this MTV show. So I'm going to do an email blast about that. Invite I'm going to be at out. the door. Holler at your boy. Oh, <laughs> I hired and worked the door for that one. All the other oh, ones, I'm going to work the door. Fuck you. <laughs> and then Friday <laughs> is the Masquerilla, Ugly God shit. It's going to be crazy. Hey, you should come out. You should do, you should do uh, Chill Bill. I can't. What's, what's Friday night? Yeah. What day is that? Oh, Friday. That's oh, on Friday, Friday night. Oh, Friday, yeah. I got some Friday, shit. Friday. Hey, that's yeah, on Friday. That's big for San Diego. Hold on. I'll do your thing. I'll do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play Chill Bill in your spirit anyway. I'm starting to mosh yeah, with that. Yeah, Friday's going to be it. In San Diego, we got the Flex Nightclub downtown. Oh, what's that? Uh, it's the, busy, the best downtown nightclub. Damn. And the gas lamp in San Diego is crazy. I fuck with it. We I just did, I we gj this emo night shit out here, but I played emo night in San Diego at the Casbah. Yeah, the uh, Casbah. Casbah? Yeah, 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 Rock yeah. yeah, the Casbah. Yeah, yeah. Y'all should do a show there. That place is like little punk rock. Yeah, it's like lit. It was yeah. tight. I think my friend's dad... Uh, Used to own it. Oh, crazy! No, yeah, no. I think Max Paul's dad used to own it. Dude. Crazy bands of yeah, crazy bands yeah. of play. There was like posters all over of all like the crazy bands that have done that room. I know casual. Yeah, it's a, it's a very well known spot in Delaware for rock. I have fun. It was more fun than House of Blues. Which <laughs> I fucking did. I hate the House of Blues. <laughs> It's yeah. literally like fuck the House of Best Blues. Venue House of Blues, San Diego, kind of Soma. Soma is best. All right, we gotta fuck with it. All right, y'all. Ham on everything radio. Shout out to Rob Stone for coming through. Best song on the radio right now. Make sure to underground artists. Jay Davis, Jay Spooks. Make sure to follow us at Spice World Positivity. At Robo. Make sure to follow us at Ham on everything on Twitter and Instagram. And then buy some shit. We don't make money off this radio show, so you go to shop.hamoneverything.tv. We're putting out some new merch. And if you're a cute girl, check me out. Adam goes ham. Oh my god. I'm at, at it's intuition. I got, at cute, t- I got a cute t-shirt. Follow me at Rumble you can Face. Follow it, baby. And then Listen follow to my podcast. Uh, stereotype at uh, stereotype, stereotype goes, goes ham. ham. And shout out to all Deaf Digital. You know what? Shout but me. thank you for Emma for holding it down. Even though the headphones didn't work, Emma, we Every still week. love you. Even Emma. though everything was broken, Emma. No, Emma, it wasn't sorry. your fault. Emma, you're it wasn't great. your fault. Emma you're comes. Emma, she's not even supposed to be here. She comes out. Shout out DJ Stereotype. Emma literally the has stereotype. the modern version. Yeah, one more time of, for Spice Girls. Adam shirt on. <laughs> yeah. One more time for Spice Girls. I'm gonna wear an Instinct shirt next week. Emma, did you do something oh, different look, with your hair? I know. Do you hey, guys yeah, I already, I already commented on that. No, 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 no. She has like the same kind of shirt as me. I know. Also, look at this, babe. Oh, that's creepy. Adam, I saw an Instagram picture of you with those on. I thought you was wearing leg warmers and shorts. Yo, thank you for listening. We'll be live again next week, uh, 11 p.m. always, uh, Dash Radio. And then uh, uh, Buffet Boys Station. Lego.